Hey folks, I went out for a hike in the Blue Ridge Mountains and I came across the scene and it's inspiring me to take a shot, so I'm going to do some scouting. So let me know if this looks like Middle Earth to you. Hey folks, I'm out here for a walk in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains and I came across this scene that I think is going to be amazing for a toy photography shot. And that scene is this scene right here. Um, if you look down trail from back there all the way up to here, um, it reminds me very much of Middle Earth, Lord of the Rings type stuff. And when I was coming up, I got this image of Gandalf kind of walking down this trail here, um, which is which is exciting me. So I think I'm going to come back. I don't have Gandalf with me. He's a very expensive figure, so I don't keep him around much. Uh, like I don't carry him with him every day, but um, he's worth bringing out here for this type of shot. It's like eight o'clock in the morning and the sun is kind of shining right. Um, so I'm going to spend a few minutes planning out a shot, and I figure you might like to think of my thought processes as I'm doing it. Um, so the first thing I'm thinking of is the sun, which is blindness alert right there. And it's shining onto my scene, which is amazing. Um, it should give a nice light like that. The issue with that is that the background is not overly awesome. Um, I might want to wait for more clouds. However, um, it would be super awesome if the... We've got this at sunset. Um, so the first thing I did is brought up on my phone, my phone, um, a tool called the Photographer's Ephemeris. And what this does is it shows me where the sun is coming from. So it looks like the sun is currently coming this direction, but at sunset, the sun is gonna set in this direction. So at no point in time is the sun actually gonna be behind this scene. Um, so that's a problem. Maybe if we come around the other side, I could shoot it from the other direction. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so from this direction, the trail doesn't quite bring out the beauty of those trees. The other thing that I need to worry about is that so far I'm holding the camera at my head height, which is I'm six foot two, so camera's about six feet off the ground. My Gandalf mini fi or Gandalf uh, action figure is a 12 inch figure. If he's on the ground, he's going to be down by below my knees. So let's just see what this would look like way down there. So I'll just take a, move the camera down there. Just to kind of give you a idea what it's gonna look like. It's not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back over here and do the same thing. Back in my original position. And if I lower the camera down, that's the view that will be seen. I'll probably wanna zoom in a bit to make those trees a bit taller, but I think that might make a nice shot if you picture a Gandalf right in there. Maybe make it a vertical shot as opposed to a horizontal shot. I think that would be great. So my plan is this. I'm going to come back one of these evenings. Um, this happens to be the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. And I'm not really sure what my family schedule is like at this moment in time. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. If I'm going to come back in the morning, I probably want to be here around 6.30 or 7, which is totally doable. It's about an hour away from my house. I have to wake up early, but I'm on vacation. I can take a nap in the afternoon, so who cares about that? Um, if I want to get the angle where the sun is now, that's what I have to do. If I want to get the sun, instead of being there, being over there, um, I'm going to have to come back in the evening, probably around 5, 5.30. Um, right now there's nobody around here, which is fantastic. This trail can be busy, which will also affect my shooting. Um, so I'm going to come back probably tonight or tomorrow. Well, this evening or tomorrow evening, right around supper time, um, and set up the shot. Um, the 
Nice thing is, is that this shot from this angle is going to be a sun shot. So I can come in here a bit early, set up this shot and then go around the bend and then wait for the sun to set and set up the other shot coming the other way. So that's my plan. I am going to take a few shots with my camera, the camera I'm actually gonna shoot the photos with from uh, this angle down here where my camera bag is. That's probably roughly where I'm gonna stick end off. So I'm gonna take a couple um, test shots just to see what things look like and just kind of keep a mental idea of what's going on. Um, and then uh, either today or tomorrow, I will come up here. Uh, like I said, it's Thanksgiving. It's the Wednesday of Thanksgiving. Uh, tomorrow is actual Thanksgiving. I'm hoping that'll keep the crowds down um, and make this a lot more um, easier to do. And the kind of the solo toy photography experience that I kind of enjoy. It's fun being out in the elements like this um, and being by yourself alone with your thoughts and your craft and your art. And uh, it's good for the mental health. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna take, like I said, I'm gonna take a few shots and then uh, I'll see how that goes. You can definitely see a figure walking down kind of a path here, um, which has some potential. So uh, I have to remember this place. This trail has lots of opportunities, so I suspect I'll be back more than once. Probably can't see this, but there's a deer right over there. Right the hell over there. Wildlife. Right. So this little corner of the world here, exact same trail I was for the Gandalf tree shot scout. And I think there's a whole lot more potential here as well. Um, you can definitely see figures being stuck in there, right? So this scene excites me right in here. It's like a nice hill and you can see the figures kind of either sitting or coming across um, and this makes a nice scene the fact that it's all nice short grass kind of gives it the good the right uh, scale uh, for smaller figures so that's exciting the downside is all this uh, barbed wire in the background but that can either be um, blurred out if we go with a, a small depth of field or you know this is why they invented the uh, the spot healing brush in Photoshop and just get rid of all that stuff. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. But over here, way down here, it's a similar setup. It's a similar setup, but it, uh, the barbed wire is higher. Um, so you might not even have to take it out. So more potential. Exciting! So, I'm not really sure what it is. I used to come out in the woods much more frequently. Um, I used to geocache, uh, which brought me out in the woods more. Um, and I stopped doing that partly when I got depression. But I think part of it is just the whole lockdown pandemic thing that kind of really gives a stay at home, social isolate, um, mindset which for the time was correct but those times are 
thankfully starting to come to an end, at least where we live here. Um, I'm triple vax now. Um, the numbers are down lower. Things are starting to open back up. And I think it's much safer to kind of get out in the world, um, especially in a place like this, which is naturally socially distant. Uh, but there's still a lot of people around. So hopefully this walk has been a bit of a spark, a bit of a eye opener, a bit of seeing what life could be like outside of the four walls of my studio again and hopefully it will lead to more outdoor adventures um definitely i got some shots to make here um with the uh, gandalf i got some other scouted shots that i can make uh like the locations on this this trail are fantastic and this is an hour from my house which for me is nothing um Driving an hour for uh, photography is peanuts. I mean, a couple of videos ago, I drove two and a half hours to Winston-Salem just to shoot some Mandalorians. An hour is nothing. I mean, I went an hour, I drove an hour once for donuts. Um, so yeah, um, this is accessible to my house. It's gorgeous up here. There's no one here. It's probably just above freezing right now, which is great for my cold Canadian heart. And uh, it's wonderful. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to go back to my car and go home and start planning some shots. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Uh, thanks for coming along. Talk to you later. Cheers. More deer.